Hi there guys, Sam here, welcome to another video. You join me once again in the Golf R, and I just wanted to go through the Mark 8 Golf GTI and just a little bit of information that we know more about it around the technical specs of it and what we, well, should hopefully expect. So yeah, I'll get straight into the video. So yeah, once again you join me in the Golf R, I've actually uh, given it a really good clean today. So I'll go around the camera as I'm talking just to show you what it looks like before and after. Um, yeah, a fair amount of effort, but you know, it's my day off, so I just wanted to give it a little bit of a clean. Um, I use the Ferris Dweller stuff on the wheels, which I mentioned in a previous video, well, many videos ago, <laughs> the fact that I'm doing a, a video a day, um, and that's come out really well. Um, it very strong smelling stuff, that um, Dodo Juice Fer Ferris Dweller, even more stronger than some of the other stuff I've used. You really do notice it, it's potent as anything. Um, but it does a job, only a couple of squirts, rinsed it all off, the car's come up great. If you don't know what I use to clean my car, check out a previous video. I'll leave a link just up there. It comes out so well in limestone grey. Honestly, this is a freaking fantastic car. Um, I just love it so so much. You know, I was chatting with um, um, a neighbour who, as I was cleaning it, well, from a distance, and he was just yeah, he loved it. Knew a lot about the Golf R, and he's you know hadn't seen one in that sort of colour. He hadn't seen it in a manual. You know, it was all that kind of thing where it's a little bit more rarer. And he said, yeah, you wouldn't really think much of it. And then you see the exhaust and that's just about it. And I was like, you know, that's just what I want. Um, yeah, and I'm sure you guys appreciate the car as well. It's, it's a cracking car. And I'm happy to kind of be out in it and to get all the dust off. I mean, the amount of dust that built up on our drive just from it sitting there um, was incredible. Still needs to do the interior. I may do that later today. Um, so, yeah, cars looking clean, looking fresh, really happy with it. Um, yeah, and enjoying it a lot. But this is just going to be a quick video because we know a little bit more now about the Mark 8 GTI. And I did a video about the TCI yesterday and a couple of weeks ago on the on the Mark 8 GTI as well. And it's looking cool. It's looking good. You know, it gives us an idea more on like where the R can potentially be. Although we know pretty much what the R is going to look like and what it's going to contain. Sounds like the base GTI is going to have the same power as the like the performance pack or their sort of run out model, 245 brake horsepower. But there was a video that a subscriber sent to me um, from Piston Heads, and I'll leave a link in the description below of that one, of some guy just chucking around a GTI, just a base GTI. And um, yeah, you sort of see the back end come out. They mentioned, you know, someone from, e from VW talks about how they've really like improved the agility of the car. They've added a few little bits in the Club Sport S. Um, they've made it more of a driver's car, which is great. No power changes, but it's all a little bit in the aero. And apparently around that track, it was like four seconds quicker than a normal GTI. And I don't think it's that big of a track. So that's a huge amount, if that is the case, um, over the previous Mark 7 GTI. And that's just pure aero and, I don't know, maybe weight savings. I, I'm really surprised if any manufacturers can get weight savings these days with the amount of safety kit and stuff that has to go into a car. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll have some screenshots as I'm talking of the Mark GTI. Mark 8 GTI. But yeah, that looks quite exciting. Um, what do you guys think? You know, do you think it's going to be that real step up? Is it worth going for? You know, I watched a bit of the video and I was kind of like, well, you know, you could, you could get the back end out, which is great. You probably couldn't really in a Golf R. It's too stable. Um, but, you know, you can, you know, a car on skinny tires, you can get the back end out. So I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. Um, apparently you can get Cup 2s as an option on a base GTI, that's what they were saying, which is a weird one. Yeah, normally safe for like a Club Sport S, so a little bit weird how they mentioned that. But yeah, they, they mentioned about the agility, they're trying to G it up, that's what a lot of, obviously they want to make sales of the car. Is it all the car you need? Maybe. I mean, the, a base GTI is still going to set you back 32, 33,000 pounds in the UK, so it's an expensive car, and a lot of my subscribers have kind of echoed the thoughts on that. Um, it's a lot of money for a lot of car, even the Mark 8 Golf R and the TCR is going to be somewhere in between as well. It's a lot of money, but we know a little bit more. We know it's improved a little bit in certain areas. They've really tried to make it a little bit more of a driver's car maybe, but in reality, it's it's all the car you probably need power-wise as well. So interesting to see. Part of the angles of it looks like a little bit bland, but it's all just personal opinion really. But yeah, let me know what you think about the Mark 8 GTI and would it really sway you? To going for a base GTI over like a Golf R or a TCR or something like that if you were to change cars. Um, it's hard in today's market to buy a new car. You know, the, the depreciation is huge. But yeah, obviously being quite a VW type channel, it's interesting to see how it's going to be. And, you know, you know, yeah, it gives us an idea for the Golf R as well in the future. But yeah, just a little bit around that. 
Um, I hope you kind of enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed a little walk around the car with it looking clean for now. Um, yeah, really, really loving it. I just don't really ever want to get rid of it at all, and I don't think I will. Um, I think the only thing that would tempt me away from getting rid of this is would be like, yeah, if I if I needed the money, really. I don't think I'd ever want to spend more on another car, really. Um, but we will see. I, I love it. I love it in a manual. And that's another thing, the Mark 8 GTI is obviously a manual as well, so maybe a bit more of a driver's car. Maybe, a, well, definitely lighter than the four-wheel drive Golf R. Although Evo rate this car, this is a five-star car from um, their magazine, the Mark 7, um, at 1,401 kilograms um, with a three-door manual. And I found that quite interesting because even the now Mark 4 Focus ST is like 1,450, and that's... Yeah, it just shows where times have come. So I really like this car. I think it's great. But um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you again next time. Cheers, guys.